Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little like unboxing video for you or unbagging as it were. Um, this is an, a new haul from In Love Arts and I wanna say a big thank you to them um, for letting me try these products. And um, they are offering a 15% off code for all of my subscribers, which I think is just fabulous um, of them. So you can go to their website and you can get 15% off your whole order if you use this code. It is S16067, and that'll be in the description box below. And I will also have links to all of the items that I'm sharing with you today and a link to um, their you know, website in general. Um, and yeah, go take advantage of the 15% off. Um, they have offer free shipping worldwide um, over if your order is over $25, which is amazing. Um, that's a really low amount. If you do any sort of online shopping, you will know that usually it's it's much higher than that um, in order to qualify for free shipping. So um, yeah, definitely go check them out. I'm gonna sit this over to the side so you'll still be able to see it, I think, maybe, maybe not. Let's see if we can, there we go. Um, but like I said, all of the information will be in the description box below. You'll just have to click on the little arrow to expand that um, to see everything. So I've already cut this open just so I didn't have to do that, um, you know, <laughs> didn't have to struggle with that uh, while you guys were watching. So this is, um, I can get rid of that. So I got some um, neat things. Um, I'm mostly dyes. I think I got, uh, let's see, five um, dyes. And then um, I think there was a stamp and then I got something uh, not typical for my channel, but something um, that I do, you know, uh, as a hobby or I have done as a hobby. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's see here. Let's start with the stamp. So this is really cool. This is called the Vintage Frame Decor Stamp. Um, and I love how this looks so far. I thought it would be fun, you know, you could, um, it looks like, let me measure this. Uh, it might be perfect for like um, index cards to decorate. Yep, it is just over three by five. So you could use this on a four by six um, index card and make a really cool journaling card. And uh, yeah, that's fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm just going to show you things today and then I'll be back in a future video and uh, we'll actually um, play with everything. And I, I covered up my little sign here, didn't I? There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there is, that is the Vintage Frame Decor uh, stamp. And then here we have, let's see, which one is this? Um, I'm trying, I, I think this is, hmm, oh yeah, this is the Thin Border Doily Die, and I was super excited about this one, um, because, you know, I mean, you can buy doilies and everything, but I thought it would be fun to be able to, um, make doilies out of any type of paper, uh, that you want. So, yeah, I think this is really pretty. And I think that'll be, I think that'll be really cool. And I know that their dies and stamps are really good quality because I've had them, um, you know, I had them in the past. All right, so this is the 3D pop-up rose dies. So this is like a three-piece set. And I know I've said before, um, whenever my dies <laughs> come attached like this, I always have my husband cut them for me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Um, he is so much better at it, and I don't want to I don't want to wreck anything. But basically, what you end up with um, is you cut out the three pieces and then um, kind of uh, like twirl the paper together and layer them up, and then you end up with a 3D uh, rose. And I thought that was super cool. Excuse me. Um, that that would be fun for cover, you know, journal covers or 
um, you know, what have you. I just thought that might be, um, that might be fun to do because yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, we'll see. I might try with, um, tissue paper. We might try it with, um, hmm, what else could we, oh, I could try that with the, uh, the thin foil that, uh, Lori sent me. That might be fun. So yeah, we will, we will definitely play with that. All right. And then this is, Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I just wanna make sure that I'm um, I'm getting the names right here. This is the lace envelope die, I believe. So yeah, I like this one a lot. This is pretty cool. So after you cut out the paper, you fold it in half and you get a really pretty um, lace design on your little pocket or envelope or what have you. So yeah, that is super cool. That will be very fun to play with. And then this one is just a basic envelope die, I believe. Uh, let's see here. I think so, that makes sense. Yep, so this is just, uh, just a basic envelope. Um, again, I thought that would be fun, you know, just to be able to um, create envelopes. It's got a little notch or a little notch and a little, um, flap here to, you know, close your envelope. But I thought, you know, that'd be fun just to be able to use any type of paper to match whatever project you're doing. Um, so that'll be cool. And then this one I am very, very excited about. This is the ladies handbag die. So if you remember, um, back a while ago, a while ago, um, I created, or it wasn't my idea, but I used binder clips and made little, um, little handbags, which uh, they're super, super cute. Um, but this you can make, you know, um, a little handbag out of paper or, you know, felt, or I guess anything that you can run through your dye machine. Um, yeah, and then you just glue, you know, kind of glue it together and you have a little handbag and then you, you just add whatever you want for handles. So we will do, I'll do a whole video and we'll play with this because I think that's going to be fun um, just to make, you know, you can make little, little handbags to hang off the, you know, spine of your journals or just to, just because they're adorable, sit them around. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is going to be a lot of fun. So very cool. Um, some fun dies, a new stamp. I'm super excited. And then I know that this box looks a bit banged up, but I don't think, um, that it's, it has caused any problem with what's inside. I haven't opened it yet, but, um, this is a diamond painting kit. And this one in particular is the Lavender Manor um, kit. And I wanna say, well, I'll just pull it out. So if you're, if you're not familiar, let me make sure I got everything out of here, um, with um, diamond painting, it's not painting at all. Um, it's like a cross between, well, it's sometimes called um, diamond painting cross stitch, which actually that is in the name of uh, the title of this particular kit. Um, so it's basically like painting, well, it's painting with little flat back rhinestones and it's sort of like cross stitch as well. So you get this piece, right? And it is sticky. Uh, well, just on the colored part. So just on the, the part that you're gonna um, stick the rhinestones to. It's already sticky, okay? That's why it has this plastic um, covering. And then I, what I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do a video and we'll, we'll actually, we'll play with this. Um, I know that's totally, totally different than anything I normally do um, on my channel, but you know what? Sometimes it's fun to do other things. I actually have um, this in mind, we'll do a video. And then I also, I don't know if I've ever said, but I make, or I put together a little miniature, um, like I want to, they're called doll houses, but they're not really meant to be played with. They're more of a display. 
And I thought maybe if you're interested, let me know if you're interested, because if you're not, then I'm not going to do it. But um, I thought you might like to see how I do that. And I might even do that on a live um, so that it's, we can chat while I'm, while I'm doing it. Um, and maybe, maybe this one too. Anyway, so if you could look here, um, the, uh, the actual design, there are little letters and those correspond to the colored um, little gems or, or rhinestones or however, whatever you want to call them. And those are all in here, all the different colors, right? And over here is your little key. So you've got, it's kind of hard to see. Let me show you. All right, there we go. So you've got your letters in the middle with the color, right? And then it tells you the number of that particular color um, rhinestone. And each of the bags has a number. So I usually sort them ahead of time or I just do one color at a time. Um, and then, you know, it, it ends up being this really pretty, um, like almost, looks like a diamond painting, <laughs> which is what it is. And it comes with the um, tools that you need. And I know that you've seen me use uh, this little guy before um, for like as a sticky tool, right? And that is where I where I got that. Oh, look at this. Well, isn't that handy? That's nice. <laughs> they give you bags to put the colors that you're working with in, in while you're working with them. That is very, very handy. Um, that is not always um, included in uh, the, the kits. And sometimes you don't even get the tools. So if, like if you already have them, that's okay. But sometimes you don't get the tools. But basically you use uh, this little guy and this is the sticky stuff um, and you press the end of it into here, right? So if you see now I have a little hole and that sticky stuff is now in the tip of my tool. And then this side you can use as well. And it will do, um, I think this one's probably three. Uh, let me put this down. Yep, so now you have sticky stuff here and you can do like three um, gems at a time three or four, I'm not sure. And so it goes a little faster. So like if you're um, you're doing a section here that's all the same color, you can do more than one at a time and it just goes faster. And then this is the little tray um, that you can put the colors in that you're working and it helps line them up because it has these ridges. So yeah, this is something completely different than you've ever seen me do. Um, but I just thought it would be fun and uh, you know, just something different. So let me know what you think, if you are interested in, well, I'm definitely gonna show you. This This one is a definite because um, I, I just, I want to. Um, but if you're interested in the little miniature dollhouse demonstration or whatever you wanna call it, um, just let me know and, and I, will, I will make it happen. So yeah, guys. Um, this was just, you know, just a quick little unboxing because I, I got this in the mail and I wanted to um, just share it with you real quick. And I wanted to make sure that you got this code um, as soon as possible. And like I said, that will be in the description box and there will be links to all of these products as well. Um, and I will be back soon and we'll do, we'll, we'll play around a little bit with, uh, with these dyes and, and everything. And yeah. All right. So... <laughs> I feel like I'm, I don't want to be rushing, um, but I feel like I'm rushing a little bit. I apologize for that. I wanted to keep this under 15 minutes and I did it. Yay. All right, guys. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope you're safe and I hope you're healthy. Um, and uh, yeah, God bless all of you. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.